सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू पावर लर्निंग टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट थ्री फेज अल्टरनेटर्स प्राइम मूवर्स एंड ऑल्सो द एक्साइटेशन सिस्टम द मोस्ट पॉपुलर एक्साइटेशन सिस्टम वी आर यूजिंग इन द अल्टरनेटर्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो यू विल सी नाउ ऑन द स्क्रीन फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग first have a look how a alternator looks like in real so here is a picture and here i am don't forget like share and subscribe to our channel so this is the real look of alternator also we discuss three different type of excitation system which used in alternators so let's have a look of alternator structure diagram with parts identification so guys as you see on the first item is avr which is called automatic voltage regulator the second is terminal outgoing lines here we will connect our power cables which is giving us output after that it's showing exciter rectifier main router stator flywheel connection plate fan so this is all these are the some of the major parts which you should know before going to the video so keep this in mind so let's see some more parts here so you will see now this is rectifier plate which is called diode plate also after that we have on number 2 router core number 3 is avr number 4 is router complete router and after that the plates which stators are made and here is the stator okay guys this is very important to know and understand about alternators so keep this in mind it will help you in understanding about alternators so let's go to another slide Let's see the definition. An alternator is an electricity generator that converts mechanical energy to electrical energy in the form of alternating current. Let us see some types of prime mover. So at this point I will let you know what are the prime movers. prime movers are the mechanical power the mechanical force which is coupled with the alternator and after that this mechanical source is rotating and our alternator is coupled with this prime mover so let's see the prime movers so the number one engines in engines we have external combustion and x steam engine is the example b is internal combustion engine in which we have petrol engine and diesel engine and number 2 is turbines steam turbine gas turbine water turbine and wind turbine when a prime mover coupled with ac alternator it's called electric generator so here you see the complete picture of electric generator in which we have on the front side the control panel after that the cables are coming from the alternator the main alternator after that we have engine so this is called electric generator let's go to another slide now coming back on the topic how an ac alternator work how the electricity is produced so guys this is the diagram so in this drawing diagram you will see we have main stator 
in the blue color where it's writing main stator AC. From here, we are taking these four lines, red, yellow, blue, and black. This is our main generator output, okay? And also the reference voltage, the sensing voltage of AVR is connected from the load. It depends on your AVR that what's the sensing voltage it's required. After the, on the other side, if you see, on the other side of the AVR, there is two wire, red and black, which is F1 positive and F2 negative. This AVR is taking sensing AC voltage and giving output as a DC voltage to the exciter, exciter stator, okay? This exciter stator will produce DC electromagnet in the coils, okay? And after that, if you see here, exciter air gap, this air gap, we have here exciter router, okay, which will having three phase winding, this three phase, it will give to rectifier assembly, the rectifiers take as an input AC supply and it will giving out DC supply to the main router. So after this, main router will become electromagnet, working as an electromagnet. We have poles on the main router and it is behaving as a electromagnet as you see here it's showing magnetic flux so the gap between the air gap between this area we have magnetic flux okay so when the main router is moving inside the main stator so the windings in the main stator it's cutting by an electromagnet okay guys so in this case electricity is produced so what is writing here with brushless generator electrical energy is transferred by magnetic flux from the stationary components to the rotating components across the air gaps what would be an alternative system to the brushes design let us see some more slides for better understanding there is three common excitation methods are using as per their applications Number one, shunt excitation system for basic applications. The AVR power supply voltage is shunted on the alternator voltage output terminals. The voltage reference is shunted on the same output terminal. The AVR generates and regulates the excitation current as a function of the alternator output voltage. The shunt system is extremely simple in its design and is ideal for basic application. It cannot tolerate high overloads and does not offer a short circuit capability. So here you see, this is the simple excitation of self, this is a simple diagram of self excited generator. Okay, we will see further in the next slide. Also you will see here. So let's see the symmetrical view. Let's see the symmetrical view. So guys, here you see the simple self-excited generator, which is taking AC power sensing feedback from main stator and giving to automatic voltage regulator AVR and then regulator giving the output as a DC there is two wire positive and negative to the exciter router and stator okay guys after that our diodes are converting this AC supply three phase AC supply into DC and it's connecting to the main router so this is the simple excitation system self excitation system so let have look on the 3d view of shunt excited alternators so here you see guys in this picture it will be more clear to you we have field winding here which is connected with the avr dc supply and these two blue color wires which is coming from the stator winding okay stator winding we have router also and these two wire as you see here armature and armature is connected with the diodes and diodes are connecting with the main router windings okay guys uh, so as you see this type of shunt excited alternator also called self excited alternator so let's see 
the second type of excitation system at number 2 we have permanent magnet generator excitation system the main alternator is the same design as that used with shunt excitation the avr power supply voltage is generated by a permanent magnet generator pmg which is mounted on the shaft extension behind the alternator the pmg delivers constant voltage which is independent of the main alternator winding the voltage reference is shunted on the alternator output terminals whatever the load the avr therefore delivers an excitation current suitable for this load depending on how the voltage reference changes the pmg system therefore has a high overload capacity load impact or starting electric motors which can short circuit 300% for 10 seconds in order to provide discriminating protection voltage build up is intrinsic because of permanent magnets it is particularly suitable for demanding application pmg system improve the performance of shunt system let's see the symmetrical view of pmg excitation as we see in the previous slide the whole alternator is same the whole system of excitation is same only the addition of pmg is making differentiate between the self excitation and pmg let's have a 3d look of pmg alternator guys like now you will look as per previous slide you will see here we are adding the pmg and the three wires are connecting from pmg to the main avr the remaining stator and the other parts are same as shunt so let's go and explore the third excitation system the third excitation system it's called arep excitation system arep stands for auxiliary winding regulation excitation principle in arep excitation system the avr power supply come from two separate auxiliary windings the voltage delivered by the first auxiliary winding h1 is proportional to the alternator output voltage shunt characteristics the voltage delivered by the second auxiliary winding h3 is proportional to the current drawn by the alternator and is a function of applied load booster effect power supply to the avr power circuit is independent from the voltage sensing measured on the alternator output terminals therefore the excitation current delivered by the avr to the alternator exciter it's not affected by any voltage distortion harmonics due to the load the arep system gives the alternator a high short circuit capability for lsa range 300% for 10 seconds let's have a look of 3d exc 3d view of arep excitation system of alternator so here you see guys it is similar as a self excitation system but if you see these yellow lines this is auxiliary auxiliary windings are installed inside the stator and it's feeding the avr so these are the three most common and most useful excitation system we are using in industries these days so as per our application requirement of the site as per load we are deciding our excitation system so i hope you guys understand this three types of excitation system alternator if you have any question you can comment us below and don't forget to like share and comment we will see you in the next video till that bye bye